Hi, I'm Mark Edward. We're here talking to Ray Hyman. And I wanted to ask Ray about his, his take on disclaimers. A disclaimer is something that a mentalist can do or not do depending on how they feel about it. So uh, Ray has an interesting take on it. So what do you think about disclaimers? Well, I can tell you what I did. I never did anything. I never thought about it. <laughs> yeah. I, when I did, I, as six years I was a professional mentalist. I never said anything one way or the other. I just would come out and say, look, uh, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. I work hard at it. I don't make any claims or anything. I just hope you enjoy it. And that's all I ever said. Yeah. So you see, everybody has a different way of, of uh, performing. And I think that this is an interesting subject for us to look at as performers to help differentiate what we do from professional psychics who do not do disclaimers. One thing I, uh, uh, I, yeah, I do have now, in retrospect, I do have some problems yes. uh, with it. Because but I understand the problem with mentalism is much of it, that doesn't have to be that way, much of mentalism, unless the people believe it's real, it's useless. It's, it's, it's not fun. You know, can you imagine, I couldn't imagine, I was always surprised that people are going to sit for a half hour. After I've done my first mind reading stunt, you know, the yeah. first few minutes, everything else is redundant. Yeah. And, and uh, why should they sit there and watch it? But the only thing that is, but if they believe it could be real, or it is real, then it's, then they didn't want to watch it. Yeah. It keeps reinforcing that belief. So, um, you know, for mentalism, it, it might not be, maybe with a disclaimer, maybe you just can't have it, it won't work. Yeah. But I didn't ever consider myself a mentalist. In yeah. fact, uh, T.A. Waters wrote once that uh, he had three kinds of mentalists, ways of presenting it. He said that, and he called mine the psychological. Yeah. He said that I present a good idea that's, that's psychology. Psychology, you know, they're talking about different aspects of the mind. So right. And, uh, and he thought that was a cop out. So he didn't like that. Right? Yeah. But, but, but that's one approach. That's the way I'm approaching it. Yeah. And then uh, the other approach is where this is a trick. I'm going to fix it. Yeah. That was a cop out. So what? So he what, and then there was a third out, yeah. which was the third one is that, that you, uh, you, you present it as a real thing. You don't have to claim it. I'll, I'll it, but you can claim right. It. But, yeah. So what did you call that? Implied? What is that? The phrase? Oh, so, they invited the inference. Invited the inference. Are you still you still rolling, Susan? Invited inference. I think is uh, is is really what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what I heard. Now. I could do it. Uh, I think I just could do it. In fact, everything I've ever written, uh, on my, my two, two parades, Adam and Graves, in, uh, in 1953, and then 1986, and then, mm -hmm. and then my other stuff I write in the Italian journal, or Italian effects, all the stuff I create, uh, I, I, can, I don't mind doing I could do magic, I could write magic, and stuff like that, I am talking about teaching people how they're going to. Right. And I still, I'm lucky I'm in a position where I get hired to do talks and how we affiliate various organizations and stuff like that. Right. Uh, and, and a lot of other things related to that. Yeah. I've hold that just under the interaction. Yeah. Um, and so I don't have to worry about uh, mixing magic and because uh, every year I do magic, it's psychological. That's it's right. Yeah. It's psychological. But when you started out, no, when I started out, I was a different animal. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want people to know I did magic or anything else like that. I, did, I kept that separate entirely. I, I just saw myself as a mentalist. And I did not say I was a magician. I didn't want people to see I was doing magic. And, and when you did... when you did, uh, But I was a kid. You know? But you did little palmistry, too, right? I did all the, everything I could to make money. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, folks. Thanks, Ray. That, 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 that makes sense. Thank you so much for your time. That's it, folks.